you guys welcome back to my channel so I'm really 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 nervous and excited to share this video with you guys because this video is going to be our very 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 first trip in our new trailer so if you guys haven't seen the empty tour or the day we bought it go and watch those videos i am creating a new playlist because when i asked you guys on instagram did you guys want to see more about this you all said yes so i think it's going to be interesting because a lot of what you see on youtube when it comes to travel trailer and rv type videos are people that live in them full time we are not moving into ours but we are going to use it quite often. And so I'm very excited about that, but there has to be a first trip for everybody, right? So we're a little nervous. I'm not gonna lie, we're a little nervous. So I'm gonna be vlogging the entire weekend of our trip, really emphasizing on setting everything up for the first time, figuring out everything for the first time, towing it out of state for the first time, hooking up sewer hoses, everything for the first time. So that's what this video is going to be. So I hope you guys enjoy coming with us out of state. Um, yeah, we're, we're a little nervous. So that's what we're gonna be talking about. But I'm starting off the intro today on Wednesday because we are heading out of town on Friday. And so what you need to know is that if you want to use your refrigerator in your RV, travel trailer, whatever, and you live somewhere hot, you have to pick it up from your storage facility or pull it out if you have RV parking at your house and turn on your refrigerator at least 24 better is 48 hours before you're leaving for a trip. So tonight, Jake is going to get off of work. He's going to go to our storage facility. He's going to pick up the trailer, bring it to our house, and we're going to park it out front with the refrigerator turned on so we can use a refrigerator when we're camping for the first time. How awesome is that? Minimal coolers, I'm so excited. Usually I have to pack like four or five huge coolers. So yeah, that's step one. So we're getting it on Wednesday for a trip leaving on Friday. We're turning on the refrigerator. So tomorrow, Thursday, I have a lot more stuff that has come in since we last had the trailer at our house, which was about two weeks ago before we took it to our storage facility. I've got a lot of things that we have bought for the trailer. They will be linked on my Amazon page. There is a tab, RV and camping, specifically for this, because I know a lot of you guys told me you're gonna do it too. So here I am just showing you guys what we're doing. Um, so I've got a lot of stuff to bring into the trailer. So tomorrow on Thursday, once I'm done doing school with the kids, uh, we are going to load up all of these other things that I got for the trailer and I'll show you guys a little bit of what we've got going on there. And then Friday morning, we're going to head out. So that is where we're at. I'm starting this vlog on a Wednesday. I will see you guys tomorrow on Thursday when we start loading things into the trailer for our very first adventure out. Okay guys, good morning. It is Friday and we are hitched up and getting gas before we head out. Um, we, you know, leaving with, even though our kids are not babies and they can get themselves dressed and things like that, um, it still takes a long time to like load up and do everything for the first time. So I was expecting us to leave at seven. We left at about 7.40. So a little bit of extra time was needed. Um, and so we hitched up and Jake filled the tires um, to the, our friends have recommended that you um, oh, like inflate your tire to the max when you are towing highway, not when you're going like off-roading in rocks, because obviously an, a pretty full tire would be more susceptible to popping. But on a highway, you he learned from experience after having for blowouts that in like one year that you want to um inflate your tires to the highest setting so we did that um jake hitched up we turned on the gas so that the refrigerator the propane so that the refrigerator stays cold um and um yeah so we we got everything all situated now this morning the question has been the temperature in the refrigerator. This probably wouldn't be an issue if you live somewhere that was cold, but 
um, we live somewhere where it's really hot. So it's taken like two days and last night we had to go and get ice and put it in the freezer and refrigerator to bring the temperature down. I've read conflicting information that if you have it pretty full with cold things, it helps keep it cold if you have it kind of empty. Um, then it doesn't stay as cold. So we are transporting my sister-in-law's 40th birthday cake. So I'm just praying that it stays cold it, along with like our dinner for later. Um, so I've been texting my friend. That's actually who replied to me. So um, this morning's little question has been, will the refrigerator be cold? We did get thermo thermostat uh, thermometers to put in there. And so um, I would recommend that. So I'm just sharing all these first time encounters with you guys. So that way, if you're coming along and you're gonna do this, you're kind of prepared for some of these things too. So we're all ready to go, we're loaded up. We've got Dorothy, that's who you can hear back there. And we stopped and uh, Jake and I got our first pumpkin cold brew of the season to commemorate this monumental occasion of taking the trailer out for the very first time. So we did take a little detour for that. It's in the same parking lot as the gas station. So we are locked up, we are ready to go, we are gonna hit the road, and we will see you guys when we get to Cedar City. <laughs> this is our first time ever at a KOA and also our first time ever with our travel trailer. I will let my husband know he's on site. Okay. Come over and if you need some help. Okay. Alright, make sure you got everything. We call you newbies. We <laughs> we're definitely newbies. We we educated ourselves as well as we could and we have friends that kind of gave us the rundown, but that's okay. The balance of your credit card, you want it on the card that you checked in. So I just got us all checked in and super nice, super helpful. We have an escort to our site because there's no, we get an escort to our site because we're new and I told her, so he's gonna help us out. So if you guys come to a KOA, let them know you're new, they'll help you. No shame in saying you're new, right? Steve. Steve is the escort to the site. So we're gonna follow him. We did select a pull-through site, which will make it easier. And this KOA in Cedar City has really good reviews and ratings. They have like a little ice cream shop in there. Yay. They have um, even like, there's Wi-Fi. There's um, a laundromat, there's bathrooms that are supposedly clean, there's a dog park area, there's um, there's like a little store in there, and it had a picture of like, it was like a camping shirt, it had like a cute little graphic, and it said like social distancing pro. I think I need to get it. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it was really cute. So we're following Steve, there he is to our site, which is a pull through, which I did know to select, but I let his wife know that we were brand new and she said that he would give us a hand and make sure we were all set up correctly. So we're gonna get pulled through, I would say backed in, but that's not the correct term. We're gonna get pulled through into our spot. Before you unhitch, chalk your wheels. Giving Dorothy a little walk around. And the kids have already, <laughs> the kids have already gone over to the little playground area, which is conveniently right there where I can see them. There they are swinging and screaming like kids want to do after they've been in the car for a couple of hours. So step number two, after you chalk your wheels, is to get these little Legos. Yeah. <laughs> what are these called? I don't know. Leveling blocks, I think. <laughs> Spot 
by our first splattered bug on the front of the trailer. Step number two, what are you doing? Taking off the visors. The anti-sway bars. Oh. So those are the, the anti-sway bars and then the hitch we got is the equalizer hitch which distributes the weight more evenly so it's a good hitch to have. But those are the anti-sway bars. So once the power jack comes down, now we're taking off the sway bars which is pretty tough to do and it should be. If We've learned that if your anti-sway bars ever just slip right in, it's different taking them out, but when you put them on, you actually need to use the tool that, um, there should be some tension there. So now he's lowering it down a little bit. Now we're gonna take off the brake control system thing. We did the Bluetooth one, so that just comes right out. And then all of the extra safety chains and everything are what you take off next. You guys can see he raised up the power jack and we are unhitched right there and there's a good clearance. So now Jake is gonna just drive forward a little bit so that way um, we're completely unhitched from the trailer. You're good. Now Jake is just going to set a level in the doorway to see if we're level. We are not level. We are not level. Now we are level. So now we're going to put down the stabilizers. Power stabilizers. This is actually really good practice for us to say all of this out loud. <laughs> they know that. But then it's good for us to like say it. I feel like we learn better by saying things out loud. So these things aren't meant to like balance your trailer or anything. They're just like additional support. So you don't want to like drive them into the ground. But we have some in the front and in the back. Here is where you hook up everything. So make sure when you book a site, you check the amps of whatever you're plugging into matches up with what your trailer is. So before we plug into power, Steve recommended that we turn off the breakers so that there's no like power surge. They come with me, I don't know. So. It's under the fridge. Oh, we lost the tacos. Oh man. That means Taco splatter. This did stay shut during the trip. Because of that. Whoo! The thermometer. Your cake's probably. Uh oh. Problem number one. This did latch. Oh, it did latch. What happened to the cake? It's still there. Oh, phew. But you going after there tonight? No, that's all. Then everyone here wants to see. Okay, guys. Well, the tacos flew out of the fridge, so that's fun. And the little snack things. It was closed. I know, but so now that the breakers are off, we are going to hook into the power. This is the correct amp for the trailer, so I don't think we need the com the converter thing. I don't think we need that. I think this just goes right in. Because it should be the same outlet um, shape. Now we're gonna turn it on, on, on. Okay, good. That one. That's the sewer. And the water's over here. That's for the sewer hose. And this is for the water. 
So after we plug into power, now we are going to do the water hose for the inside of the trailer for flushing the toilets and everything like that. Got two different color hoses so we wouldn't ever confuse them. And then you wanna make sure that you have a pressure regulator just to make sure that the pressure of the water isn't too great and then it explodes your plastic pipes in your trailer. So we got this thing. So this is what you attach first. And then you I bought you everything you never questioned why all this time I waited. We laid out our little outdoor rug here. Livy, make it straight, honey. Okay. Yeah. And I'm going to try to see if the water and everything is working properly. Isn't that cute? My mother-in-law got that for us. So, moment of truth here. Yay! Water! Now this is the thing you don't want to have go wrong. I have no idea how to... I don't think it's that way. I think it's that. No, this connects to the hose. Okay. I watched the video. Maybe without that black thing on. Uh, no? It so we think we got it figured out. This little thing kind of presented a challenge, but you had to twist the white and not the black because the black thing doesn't fit. But sometimes those openings are just straight into the ground. So it just depends on the campsite you're at. So the sewage line is all hooked up. Now we need to turn off the propane. Or do you want to leave it on? That's only when you want to let it release. Oh, you, you don't want to let it, oh, so let it build up and then let it flush? Oh. And then we can pull these in if we want to lower it down a little. Kylie, move that bin for dad. And then let's pull on these how we did to bring it down a little. Unfortunately, we tried to get dinner. We got those taco trays, but this meat is not good. <laughs> so we're not gonna risk it. We're just gonna throw it all away. It's a bummer. It's like $50 of food right here, but I guess if this is the worst thing, then we were successful for our first trip, right? Give me a thumbs up. Closed all the doors and turned on the AC to get it nice and cool in here. And I fixed my shower curtain that had fell down. It's just a tension rod, so it's just so it, you know, it looks a little nicer. And then there's, there's a double layer there, so that's nice too. Filled up the potty with some water. Going to hang the hand towel here. Kind of set up the inside a little bit while I keep everyone outside. Mom hack. Well guys, drank a Starbucks on the way, had to really go potty, and mom used the potty for the trailer <laughs> for the very first time. I know that seems funny, my kids were joking. It's the first time anyone's using the toilet. Yes, that's me, using the toilet. So, we pretty much set up in here. I, we have the radio on, which you can hear. We're setting up our chairs outside, and we successfully made it, and I think we hooked up everything right. So, let's hope. Hey guys, so we are all hooked up here at our very first camper trip. As you saw, Dorothy is living her best life <laughs> on her side. <laughs> um, and Jake is even able to sit down and take a breather. So be honest, how stressful was it? Uh, for the first time, it wasn't. It was stressful, but it wasn't like 
I wasn't worried too much. So in comparison to like the setup you would have to do with the tent versus what we did here at a full hookup site, what is easier? It's a lot easier and cleaner. Okay, so that is on our first try too. Um, any any first timer tips you want to give after getting it parked here? <laughs> Not. I can't see anything that went wrong yet. <laughs> Well, so far, everything is going right. The air is working, the water is on, people have used the potty, um, and everything seems to be seems to be working. Uh, we have the full hookups here for the sewer, but we're gonna just release the, um, the black tank, which is the yucky tank, um, at least once a day, just because we have the ability to do it. We don't need to like make it unnecessarily full. Um, so we are gonna do that. So I guess we'll we're probably gonna do a test run later tonight just to make sure that the sewer line is hooked in correctly since there was a little bit of a, a little bit of a, you know, it was kind of hard to get it in there. But we're all set up. So here we are. There's Kylie. And so I'm just gonna show you guys really quick. The air is super loud inside, um, but we put out all of our rugs here. This is nice. Dorothy's catching flies. She hates flies. She eats them out of the air like an alligator. Um, if you do this with kids, I highly recommend that you get have them bring sandals because taking off tennis shoes on and off a thousand times is kind of hard. So the other three, they want to spend time in the trailer right now because it's brand new. What are you guys playing? Spot it. Spot it. Uh, so we put up the table um, for dinner later. You guys saw the taco disaster, so we are going to go get dinner from somewhere. And most importantly, the coffee bar is set up. I found these at Home Goods. I was so excited. So we've got that all set up. Um, the beds were already set up, so that was easy. I filled in our little basket down here with some snacks. And so yeah, we've just got the air running and the kids are playing in here because they haven't really been able, you guys haven't been able to hang out in the trailer, have you? It's been too hot. We've, they've only been able to load it up, so Landon's drying a little something. Jake's dad's birthday was uh, yesterday, so he's gonna come and drink a beer out there later with us, so we um, got him a little gift, so that's there. All of our decorations stayed up, so that was also good. Um, so yeah, we've got our little setup in here, and so now this is the part that I enjoy the most, relaxation you guys can see we just filled up a little basket of some uh, stuff here for the kids card games puzzles huge um, tic-tac-toe I think that is so they've got some fun things and um, we've just gonna enjoy the afternoon now that we're here so they want to go rent one of those pedal cars so we might see about doing that a little bit later um, but for now we're just hanging out I can't believe we finally did it this has been something we've wanted to do for about two years and so it's something i always wanted to do and i had to convince subtly convince <laughs> that he wanted to do it too um but i know now now you're glad yeah, come on it doesn't feel real it, right it feel it doesn't feel like it's ours yeah. we we've roughed it for so long we're like oh that's easy <laughs> pretty easy so we're just gonna enjoy our time and see what we decide to do. It's warm here in Cedar City, but when you're from where we're from and it's just so hot, this feels really nice. And we do have a pretty big tree, so we've got some shade from the tree and then of course the awning. So we're just hanging out and um, gonna just enjoy our weekend here. Have fun swimming? Yes. How about you? How about you? The scenery isn't too bad. No, no, no. The Cedar City Aquatic Center is a very nice place. Oh, it's very clean and the heat. So our tacos may have spilled all over the floor, which is a bummer because if you know about those taco trays from Costco, they are kind of a pricey, but it's okay, it's okay. Um, we need to get a lock on the outside of the fridge and probably the tension rods. Um, going across but anyway um, that is okay 
everything is fine. So we just left the pool, we had some fun there, and now we are here, picking up Cafe Rio. It's the next best thing <laughs> to the taco trays um, from Costco that met our floor. So Jake ran in to grab dinner, we're gonna take it back and we're gonna eat um, and let out Dorothy who has been safely taking a nap while we were swimming. Tacos take two. I just realized my mouse is upside down. <laughs> that That's is how we stuff. feel about it. That's the way. Upside down. You are hungry, lady. Hot. Just a casual $50 at Cafe Rio, and that's with a coupon. I remember the days when I used to be able to take the kids, and they were all small enough to get free kids' quesadillas, and now we do five adult meals. Okay, so we just, we've been settled in for a little while, um, but I just didn't take the camera out. I, we ate dinner right over here, outside. All six of us squeezed in there. We had our Cafe Rio, and then the kids wanted to get the chlorine off of them from um, the pool. At, so did I. So we, even though we're hooked up to water, we wanted to teach them how to do a camping shower for when we're dry camping we don't have hookups because i think it'll be too confusing so we didn't even tell them that they could take as long as they wanted we just taught them the way that we're going to do it um in the way that we've been told to do it which is turn the water on get all wet turn it off soap up turn it back on rinse off turn it off and get out and so that's what we did myself included so i already took my shower for the day we took dorothy on a walk and she's tired when Jake um, opened the door when we got back from the pool where was Do Miss Dorothy she was laying on the couch laying on the couch and the air conditioner was working so well that her ears were cold <laughs> <laughs> so I don't think she missed us too terribly much now the kids are this is another really cool thing we when you do a KOA you can't like pick your site so we didn't know where we were gonna be. But our site, we did get a pull through site for ease. Um, Cause you know, first timers. Um, but it's really cool because it's right next to the little play area, which is nothing elaborate. I'm letting you guys know it's nothing fancy. But my poor children have been, it's so hot back at home that unless we're in the pool, they can't be outside. And so they're just having so much fun running around being crazy careful careful landon with your knee no livy i don't want you running in flip-flops stop stop running stop so that's what they're doing and they're literally right around the corner from our trailer so we can hear them so we're not worried about them being over there. So yeah, we're just sitting down. The weather is perfect right now. The sun's going down um, and Jake's dad is gonna be coming um, a little bit later. So we're gonna plan on hanging out with him a little while for his birthday. And then we will call day one, the first day ever, a day. We'll wrap it up. And um, then tomorrow we will bring you guys um, up to Duck Creek area. That's where we're gonna spend the day tomorrow um, celebrating my sister-in-law turning the big four zero. So uh, we're just sitting here hanging out after dinner, all showered. Jake's the only one left to shower, but he's gonna do that later. And I can already tell you the showering is gonna be a game changer. Ride up here. It was that good. Was a made voice. Oh, yeah. It was. Was it fun? Yeah, down. we made yeah. it. We just took our time yeah. and that was fine. Good. Yeah. Good. Um, so I said no one died. The trailer didn't come unhitched. No jeans. Yeah, it didn't. However, it. when we got here, the tacos that we bought, we bought like these taco platters from Costco to have for dinner tonight. They were all over the floor. <laughs> the fridge opened up. Oh, no. And Is we were responsible. Um, it's supposed to latch, but everyone 
now, of course, right, is right. like, oh yeah, you gotta put a, a hook on the outside. Yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> Those yeah, things yeah, open yeah, up. Oh, no. Yeah. The Shell's cake, because I was responsible for the birthday cake. I was like, oh no, oh. if her cake, like you know, oh. it, <laughs> the okay? cake survived. survived. Oh, yeah, and so did the eggs. The eggs really beers, weird. All oh. the tacos. The out. tacos are dinner. We opened the door, and there's the salsa, the cheese, oh, everything. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> We're like, well, the river scraped his knee. Yeah. Oh, 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 you did fall. Ouch! Oh, what did you do? Get bruised up? He Ooh, just really slipped. Got he wasn't even running. What were you doing? He was Ouch. just walking. Yeah. <laughs> How'd you do that? Huh? I don't know. I just. You just did, huh? It Floor had out. outdoor and indoor pools. In no, a lazy anymore. river and um, outdoor pool. There's only oh, five dollars wow. per person. And uh, that's okay. another thing I love about Utah. Right. They yeah. understand big family life here. Yeah, yeah oh, it has like a definitely. huge like, Oh, they do. Yeah. That, well, speaking of that, so that restaurant we're in there. Hey, blow it out. Happy to be here. Oh, yeah. Ready? Look, I guess the, you still got one. We're sharing. Us too. Raspberry cheesecake. on the road up to Duck Creek um, Village. It's a beautiful drive. I will show you guys some of that. Um, like really quickly, look at how green and it's just so pretty over here. We love it. Um, so last night we was our first night sleeping and I think we unanimously agree that the sleeping arrangement is by far <laughs> better than being in the tent and ironically we actually got kind of cold with our air conditioner once the temperature dropped down so we'll pull out some more blankets um we have them but i just didn't think we would need them so when i made the beds i just had like light sheets and light blankets but it actually got a little chilly so this morning we just got ready and um now we're driving up we're gonna have breakfast with family up here and spend the day so i'm not sure how much i'm going to film while we're up here kylie's got the birthday cake the birthday cake survived we brought that from home that was our that was our duty the tacos didn't make it as you guys know but the birthday cake made it so we've we've got the cake so we're gonna come up we're gonna spend the day up here it's actually sprinkling and only 62 degrees um, and we have not seen rain or cold temperatures in quite a while so my, I'm very excited about this 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 weather is making me in a very good mood um, and so we're just we're gonna spend the day up here. I will try to get some clips and stuff of the area for you guys, because I know a lot of you who watch don't live out west, and the um, mountains are like, kind of, when you've never seen them, they're, they're really, re even more beautiful than when you have seen them a bunch. So I'm gonna show you guys a little time lapse of the drive up here, and then maybe some clips throughout the day, but I'll catch up with you guys later when we head back to the um, RV. We did bring Dorothy with us. She's with us back there. And we did leave our air conditioner running on low while we're gone. Um, since we have the full hookup site, we wouldn't do that if we didn't have the full hookup site. But since we do, we figured we might as well take advantage of it. So the trailer should be nice and climate controlled while we're gone and um, ready for us when we get back later. I just want to love you till the day. of waking up in the trailer. Still lots of firsts happening. For example, first time cooking on my stove inside. Usually we always cook outside, but we obviously wanted to try the stove. So I'm making up some eggs for everyone while the kids get dressed and get all ready to go. 
Jake did in fact have to empty the gray water tank from our showering and hand washing and all of that. That um, was full. Our little thingy over there told us that it was full. So he did that and it went right on down. That's just dirty water from the, um, like the sink and the uh, shower. So no, no sewer yet, but it was, the connection is good. So that's good to know. Um, and last night we did get our water heater turned on. We forgot to turn on the button the day before, so we got that taken care of. So again, learning as we go here, but so far everything is going really good. And yesterday we had a very fun day. I didn't film too much of it um, up with family, but did you have a good day? Mm -hmm. Was it fun? What was your favorite part? Cake. The cake and celebrating Auntie Shell. Yeah, that was fun. So we're just getting breakfast together. Jake made one million pancakes yesterday, and so we did save some of those, and um, we're gonna eat them this morning. Also, wanna just mention this while I'm thinking about it. These steps with holes right here, if you have a dog, Dorothy's claw has gotten stuck in there twice now so now we're lifting her up and down so we are gonna order the carpet they make like carpeted coverings so if you're gonna do this and you're gonna bring dogs I'd recommend doing that so right Dorothy you don't want to lose a claw <laughs> to take a little car ride and come check out a national monument we have actually never seen before. So Cedar Breaks National Monument. We're right about 10,000 feet um, here. So pretty, pretty high elevation. And um, we've gone all over Southern Utah and we've just never made it here so we decided today we were going to take a trip and so we are going to take a picture right in front of the national monument sign and what's really cool about driving up here is this is only about 25 minutes from cedar city and your the elevation change is about 5,000 feet if not more so it's a really fast um steep climb so we're gonna take our picture and then we're gonna go check out um cedar breaks currently under a really huge tree in the shade and the kids are getting to play on the playground, something that they haven't been able to do in a really long time. Um, so they were pretty excited to come to the park here. We brought some snacks with us after we stopped at the grocery store. If you guys haven't had these pretzels, highly, highly recommend. They will ruin your self-control though. So Jake and I are just sitting here. We did grab a little cold brew and we're just letting the kids play got Dorothy with us and there's just a nice breeze. It's warm in the sun, but not too bad here in the shade. It's really nice. So just hanging out at the park for a few hours and then we're gonna head back. And um, we decided, well, I kind of made the executive decision that I wanted to cook dinner in the trailer tonight versus go and get um, 
takeout or something. The first night we had the taco situation, so we went to Cafe Rio. The second night we were up in Duck Creek with family, so they cooked. We just brought like a salad and the birthday cake. And then tonight um, I wanted to use my kitchen because what's the point of stocking it with everything you're gonna need if we're never gonna use it? So I wanted to um, make dinner and I gave the kids options. What did I ask you? What were your choices? Tacos or what? Burgers. Turkey burgers and everybody picked tacos again. So not mad about it. We're gonna make some taco bowls later and um, just enjoy our last night. So we are making our first dinner, some turkey taco bowls in the trailer for the first time. So excited to use my little stove and make a meal inside. It's, uh, this is pretty monumental for me. And if you've tent camped, you understand why. All right, guys, so as you can see, I obviously took a shower. Um, all the kids have showered. Jake is getting ready to get into the shower. And tonight, on our last night of sleeping in our trailer until next time, um, we are going to basically clean it, wipe it down the inside as far as like the sink and the little kitchen counter area, disinfect the toilet and wipe out the shower. Um, so that way, anytime we're ready, to pack up and head out somewhere the trailer is clean I don't ever want to go home with a dirty trailer I would rather clean it while I'm at the wherever I am the night before just take 20 or 30 minutes while we're cleaning up dinner and give everything a good wipe down it's not like we're cleaning a huge house um, so yeah that's what we're gonna do tonight the kids are just reading and relaxing we were up late and awake early um, so tonight I think we're gonna try to go to bed a little bit earlier or at least the kids are um, because we do need to be on the road tomorrow by 8 so uh, we need to get back so we can get everything unloaded as far as food goes one other thing I want to mention because I know some of you have told me you're looking at getting a travel trailer or an RV and by no means obviously this is the first time vlog so I'm not a pro but I have read a lot and have friends who have done this for a long time and so I feel like I kind of have a better I don't know I have a little bit more knowledge than someone who has no idea uh, so one thing that I wanted to mention to you guys is that we are going to keep our trailer completely stocked with everything with the exception of food and our clothes um, and maybe some minor toiletries that I would worry about being in the heat. Wow, this is like crazy shower hair. Um, so as far as sheets and blankets and everything, I am going to leave those in here. So when we get back, um, you should see my laundry pile from just a quick little weekend. But when we get back, uh, I am going to put all of that into the laundry right away, the stuff that needs to go in here. So hopefully I can put it back in before Jake takes it and returns it to where uh, we store it. So I just wanted to mention that. Um, but as far as like blankets and pillows and all the kitchen stuff, uh, we bought stuff specifically for the trailer so that way we don't have to pack a ton of things every time we go. So. That's what we're gonna do the rest of the night tonight. We're gonna clean the trailer. Jake and I will probably sit outside and just enjoy a little bit of quiet time. Um, the kids are excited because I did pack microwavable popcorn because we have a microwave and I wanted the, them to have the experience of using it on our first time. So we'll probably do that a little bit later and then we'll call it a day and um, we will see you guys in the morning for the teardown portion of our first RV vlog ever. So if you have enjoyed this video, it's probably going to be kind of long. Give me a thumbs up. If you want me to continue sharing our trips and where we go, let me know. And if you found this helpful, if you're an RV potential purchaser and you found this helpful, let me know. If you have any suggestions on things you'd like to see, let me know. I would love to continue to kind of build this playlist, but only if you guys are interested. So definitely give me your feedback. Um, and I will take it into consideration. So we'll see you guys in the morning. I lose my breath whenever I see you. Okay, good morning, you guys. So we are getting ready to load up 
and um, I am going to show you guys just so you can see on the opposite end of things how we're unhooking everything. So, what did you just unhook? The city water connection? Yeah, we'll make sure it's turned off. So it's gonna spray you. Good morning. <laughs> Let's spray him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then he removed our, <clears throat> that thing is called a Y valve, and um, my friend really recommended that because then you have two openings um, to like fill up dog water or whatever, so it's kind of nice to have. So he took that off and the pressure regulator, so that is all disconnected first, the white hose. The clean hose. The clean hose we're hooked up to the power still so we don't utilize the battery we're going to bring up our stabilizing jacks so then after you disconnect the city water you want to come inside and do what drain the faucet and the toilet the faucet and the toilet to make sure that there's no residual water left in there and we already went ahead and turned off the refrigerator. And um, when we get home, we'll prop open the door. You wanna make sure you prop the door. Um, and then we cleared off all the counters and made sure that nothing was um, out to like fall down. We've got our laundry here to make it easy to just bring in and it shouldn't take us long at all to unload the trailer. And like I said, I already cleaned everything, so I'll just have to do like a quick mop of the floor for next time. Dirty job, but somebody's gotta do it. At least putting on those gloves that you can <laughs> live out your what you thought your college life would be like when you became a doctor. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to put water in there until we flush it, until we release it. Okay. That comes after. I wasn't gonna turn the water on, I was gonna hook it up. Oh, you were gonna hook it up. Well, I suppose you could hook it up. So we have a separate hose for the sanitation flush because everyone has recommended that when you do the sewer and um, the sewer line, you want to fill this up as well um, and then rinse it out so a couple of times so that you get a really good um, clean uh, tank down there. So that is what that hose is for. We won't ever use that for the city connection. So. Black tank pull. Are you scared? You're kind of in, you're in the splash zone. Oh! <laughs> Plug your nose. Yeah. <laughs> ah, that is so gross. Even just the sound. Oh, that's disgusting. Does Black it... tank pull first, then gray tank, because that's going to flush more. The gray tank is just like your shower water, your sink water. If you're new to this, you might not know even those simple things we didn't. Um, and so, yeah, if you're a pro and you're watching this, you're probably gonna be kind of annoyed with me, but I'm making this video for anybody else who's considering getting a travel trailer. We couldn't find just simple explanations for things. So the gray tank is where your shower water and your sink water goes. The black tank is the bathroom. So once you do the black tank, then you want to do your gray tank because that's going to clean out your sewer line a little bit more. And then you want to fill up your sanitation flush and then you want to release that about two or three times. It doesn't need to be completely full, but you want to kind of flush everything out make sure that your tanks are cleaned if you can I have a whole Amazon page um, dedicated to stuff we've bought for this but there's these dissolvable tablets that you 
can put down your toilet for extra sanitation. So we did that last night as well. So you just wanna keep those tanks really cleaned out. You don't ever wanna to forget to do that or have any residual stuff sitting in there because that would be really gross and smell horrible and probably end up causing damage. So yeah, this is an important part, it's gross, but you wanna make sure you get it right. Filled up the sanitation tank and did a black pull to clean that out again and now we're gonna do it again. They recommend that you have a clear fitting down here here, um, but they were out of stock but that way uh, you want to obviously look at that and then once you have pretty clear water then you know that your tank is pretty much flushed so we can't see really the color so we're just taking extra practice um, extra safety measures rather but we did order a clear one but they just were out of stock because so many people are buying travel trailers right now it's been the sales guy at um, blue dog RV where we bought ours told us that they like they have been selling more travel trailers and RVs than ever before so I don't know one thing I think is kind of cool about the fact that we bought our travel trailer is that we're always going to remember that we bought it during this crazy time in our world and um and we just were choosing to live instead of not. And so I think a lot of people are doing that. Uh, so that's why all of the accessories are kind of hard to find, including that clear sewer fitting. So um, it, we should have it within the next few weeks, which will make this process a little bit easier, but we're just gonna do it three times just to be sure. So what is that for? This white valve here? It's the uh, leftover water in the pipe, the clean pipe. So anything left in the pipes in the trailer from having the sink on or the shower, so you want to definitely open that up too and get all the water out of the trailer. If you leave water in the pipes, it can get moldy and cause problems. Come. 